special, special Purim edition. Yes, we are in the wonderful location of Charles Sakal. We have Shlach Manas all around us. Baruch Hashem, it's very appropriate to do a Purim edition, and it goes together with a relationship flow edition. And even more important to shout out to uh, Yosef Aaron, who is back home, thank God, in the Holy Land. We don't take it for granted every time our holy brother makes it home. And uh, it's a big deal. So right now, he just did an amazing tour in America with Jess Van Chesed. We're shouting out the Merck as always. Big shout out to them and to their amazing organization. All the kindness comes a lot to do with what they're doing and what Yosef Aaron, the Aaron's, the Lillian's. We wouldn't be in a frat if it wasn't if it was for them. So uh, they definitely made us a big part of this process of our move from Mishalayim to the Holy of Frats. And uh, I just want to mention, and I'm sorry, I'm moving around a lot, but I just there's so much to discuss that we need to really focus in on a lot of key points today. Um, shout out why Yosin Aaron isn't here is because he just landed and he made it through the Shlomo Shir, Shlomo Katz's Shir, beautiful Shir. From Shlomo Kalibach's Torah, Adliyada, literally, like really true Purim Torah of uh, Eitz Chaim, real, real understanding of what Purim is about and what the Chaim and what the whole Suda and what the whole Voda Purim, really just to let go a little bit and experience that light. For some reason, the uh, the uh, social, the uh, Cav on the Instagram isn't doing so well. I'm just going to update it one more time. And Davin, that Shem should give us a good connection. Thank you, everyone, on Instagram, live. Wow, unbelievable. So we are now live on all our platforms. We don't take granted. We are posting this also on our Unity Flow podcast, Relationship Flow podcast. Shout out again to Just One Chesed for the merch. Don't take it for granted. We will be doing an amazing poem party with the Zara Shimshon host, the Sakal family, Charles Sakal himself, will be here Thursday night giving a share in the Zara Shimshon and then hosting. It'll be Moisey Tani Sester, and then hosting Purim Day in this unbelievable house becomes a Purim world for everyone, for all the kids, for all the families. And that will be after already a beautiful night, hopefully at Shev David and a frat. I thank Hashem to have Purim in a frat. It was amazing last year and this year looks to be even beyond, especially with everything going on. We have to keep in mind all our soldiers, Baruch Yitzhak Ben Masha, Baruch Yitzhak Ben Eli Oli, Cohen, all the soldiers are going through still serving and, and protecting and securing our land and hopefully a winning and being victorious, as Roshlama beautifully sang this morning in uh, in the Shia, the idea of the true victory. Yeah? Wow, this came in use. Who would have believed it? So the true victory, and it even turned the... It actually worked. Would you believe it? Like a finger. So, sorry, I'm still on the Instagram. So we're now here we are. So we've got a, we've got a holy safer. Yeah. And we're going to learn a bit about the Mishkan. I always have to have a safer in front of me. We just had the Pashas of the Akapakude, a summary of the Mishkan and the Kohen Godel. And we have a beautiful Sefer right in front of us about how it really looks inside. And this is the concept to bring alive, to live, the Dira Tachtona, to bring the Kedusha, that Kohen Godel, into real time. That's now Sefer Vikra. We're now doing the Avoda of Korbanos in the Mishkan. That's how it connects into this week's Pasha. There's no bigger Mechias Amalek than the, the Shechina. We'll get rid of our enemies through the Shechina, the Kedosha, the base of Mingdish, through the Temple, through the Avodos of Karanim, Torah's Karanim, to become alive. As we learn from Roshlomo today, it should become natural to us to be serving Hashem, to know about these concepts of Kodshim and what it means to be a Kohen Godo, I'm a Kohen, Roshlomo's a Kohen, yeah, the, the, the Kedusha's Karanim, the idea of having these garments. People dress up on Purim in different garments, and we'll be dressing up in ours, once again, a shout out to Zerah Shimshon. We've been doing a lot of work on getting some Purim Torah out there. So we have on the site, zerahshimshon.com. And once again, a shout out to justonehesed.org. It's, they are doing so much to help people for Purim, help the soldiers, shop manas, and make sure people have meals, meals for heroes, thousands of meals have been going on. I'm so proud to rock this merch when I go around. I was just at Sherebrochers, Vanessa Black's wonderful teammate, Aurea. We are in the team of booking of Nissim Black. He's one of the star tour managers and producers now working with Nissim, and he just got married, Baruch Hashem. So we had the show of Baruch Hashem. I was able to proudly say that I re- represent, even if I'm not working officially for Just Some Chesed, but this podcast is always a big shout-out for what they do and the representation, especially when Yosef Aaron's in the house, which he will be. 
We might be able to do a special edition later today with Yosef Aaron Haim. But I don't want to promise it because life gets busy and he's just got back from a three week trip. So we'll see. We're putting it out there. So stay tuned. It might might happen. Maybe we'll do a shorts. Maybe we'll do something small just to get us ready in the Purim vibe together. Uh, the key is that what we're learning it needs to go out there. Like I can't just sit here and talk to myself. You know, I can enjoy looking at the Shlach Mana, so beautiful. And there's plenty of them all around me. I've even got some interesting ideas inside the Shlach Mana, so I like this one. This looks fun. But um, yeah, with all the, the poem shtick and stuff that goes on the Shlach Mana, the most important is to remember the Matana Sibyanim, to make sure you give it Bob Yom in the day of Purim, wherever you are. If you're here in Afra it will, and the rest of the world, it's going to be on the full team for this Moti Shab Sunday. And then Sunday night, Monday for New Shalim, which I will be going there. If everyone wants to meet up, I'll be by my Rebbe, hopefully the Tolman Rebbe, and hopefully for other friends in New Shalim. So anyone out there wants to meet up, let me know. I'm always happy to connect and meet with our holy brothers and sisters. I mean, the sisters I leave to my wife, but relationship flow. Yeah, we need to go into that subject again. I haven't done a relationship flow for a while, um, partly because <clears throat> it's been a challenging time period. I'll be honest, I'll be frank. Um, to be able to focus right now, I'm doing Unity bookings, Unity marketing, marketing. Try to get my website UnityInspireProjects.com link below in the description. Trying to get it established so I can promote these amazing organisations like Just One Chesson, Zer Shimshon, all the other collaborative branches we're busy with, all the artists, all the talent, all the speakers. Sorry about the noise. Um, it reminds me we have to sing a little bit. So let's sing a little bit of Purim Deck and get some energy with the banging. Again, the gag, the graggers, getting banging when the humming comes. <laughs> so let's sing. Um, we're going to sing a little bit about Kedusha's Mordechai and Esther. If we need to sing with a half, and we sang that one last time when Yosef Aram was here. Uh, how's it go? I need, I need him in, in the house. Feel the energy of Purim. Check out the Unity Flow of the Kutumar on. About your diary, Maglayim, clapping, dancing. I mean, how beautiful Torah about Mordechai and Esther. Mordechai is your diary, Esther is Maglayim. The fire is the idea of bringing together the Kibbutz the Kiblu, standing and, on, and the Kiblu. The standing is the feet and the Kiblu is the hands. Beautiful Peshat, Kibbutz the Kiblu. They're receiving, re receiving the Chadish, the Torah, fresh. It was my wife's birthday this Sunday, Masha Baschai. She be blessed. The idea is Chadshis, a new year, the 44. Damn, damn. With our blood, will be most enough of our own son. And he's Brook Shemesh with Shemel Yonah, but he's going out there and doing the service of the holy Malachi Sharis of the soldiers. And um, yeah, myself, my own birthday coming up this weekend, the Purim. I'm a Purim yet. So this is the special Purim edition and relationship flow will be included here. The idea of Purim yet. So you have to get in, tune into the light that's in this time, the joy, the simcha, the, the joy within. The most important point is the panemius, the inner aspect. Tune into that inner voice for time. By the way, it's just water. <laughs> but the idea that we have to be able to develop that inner relationship, like we were talking in the Kutumarani idea of tuning into the heart level. Rahman al boy, Shem wants our hearts. That's the most precious thing we can give. It's our time and our heart, our focus, our attention, our love. We give our love to the Creator, to the Bori Olam, to be focused in on that love, to not allow ourselves to... God forbid to be distracted on such a holy day by any of the Balagan, the news, by the, the chaos that's going on. You know, shout out to my family in London. I host my daughter right now, and she was able to go to a, a production that represents something that my family are very big on. You know, the, the whole live aid is called, I think, Just One Day. And I'm interested to hear more about, about that experience. But the idea that, you know, my family were, were fundamental in building that project that built so much unity and it's gone over to what USA did for Africa. I just saw this whole beautiful documentary about what the American rock and roll and pop singers did. And then what well, in England, obviously, I knew I was there. And you see this legacy of unity and, and giving and kindness. So it's something I've always dreamed and envisioned myself to be able to do. 
what I always realize at the end of the day is all these big projects are huge. A lot of those people aren't around anymore, unfortunately, because the idea of giving and unity has to begin at home, begin in your own house. And that's the most important part of the Purim Suda. As much as you go and you do Matasvarium, help the poor, and you have Shalach Manas to connect more Ava in, in brotherhood and sisterhood and love amongst each other. I even made a special effort to say happy Purim to a lot of people that you know, I used to work with and, and don't work with anymore, but still to make an extra effort to reach out to them. I wish them happy Purim to pray for Rav Shalom Ben Yemna and Rav Shalom Marish. should be healthy to, to reach out to all the past people I was there, to really appreciate all the time I've had with different souls and different places of work, to be able to, to have a course of and connect and love. That's a big part of the Shachmanis, but the Tanis of Yonim and the idea of giving on the day of Purim, making sure that people get that tzedakah and get that opportunity to connect. We, we need to all step up in that. And um, with Makris Megillah, Megillah Sesta, it shows us a, a gewaldic thing that's connected to the relationship flow, which is what we're going to talk about now. The idea of, of the miracle of Purim is all connected to Mordechai and Esther. Mordechai and Esther are the ultimate guides to Shalom Bias. Ah, look, here we go. Someone's asking about some, some donations. Baruch Hashem. So um, I was managed, I was able to, thank God, take care of some of it online, give to a shlomo, for Matanus of and Godi Shalim. Yeah, I can't believe I'm already fasting tomorrow. That's why I'm drinking a lot of water. The idea of Mordechai the Esther is the, the ultimate shalom bias guide. I heard this from Barak Gartner a long, long time back. He uh, was one of my close friends back in the day and rabbis who I used to go to all the time and Derek and Malach days, and if anyone remembers that. Um, but anyway, the idea that the Shalom Bias is taught to us through the Megillah, through the Sadiq, through the Sadiqus, Mordechai and Esther, and their relationship is a big guide, a big example of how Shalom Bias should be, the, the deep connection, even in the most difficult situation that they both went through, and they were able to bond together and be able to establish the Yeshua and, and salvation for the Jewish people in the world. And then the opposite of that was Homan and Zeresh. They're the opposite of Shalom Bias. They're like the Hollywood couple who are um, already on their fifth marriage or whatever, and all kinds of unfaithfulness and greed and power and desires and and manipulation, that kind of shalom bias, the opposite is no shalom bias, it's chorban and bias. So we have to learn out from them what not to be. And by reading the Megillah carefully, you start to really get a lot of insight into how you want your relationship flow to be. But the key is there's, there's a focus, there's time to absorb it, there's a time to connect. One of the most important things you can do before Purim is to spend time with your soulmate. And in Purim itself, I would suggest a lot of deep prayer, a lot of inner prayer for the family, for, for salvation. So people need Shaduchim. Please go to the Mass Masha, Baruch Hasef, Masha. My own children. Everybody needs Shaduchim. Everybody needs you know, Panasa. You can dumb for me. You can reach out and help build the Unity Inspire projects and help scale them so we can do more for Ami in a bigger way for all these wonderful organizations and causes. These are f- things that we dumb into Hashem and scream to Hashem to ask Him to help us with all these challenges that we're going through with our family, with our children, with our panasa, with, with our ruchnias, to be able to more connect us in the Torah, to have more strength in learning. You know, we need to keep up. Baruch Hashem, we're learning Tanya. My chavrusa right now is in America, so a few days about it, it's feeling it a little bit, getting up a little bit later than I'd like. The idea is to keep strengthening the Hudimaisa Oira, the Torah part we spoke about last week, to connect into the Torah, the Tanya, the Kutmaron, the Shas, Dafyomi, Sadness and Black on with Elisa Safansky's uh, Dafyomi was there shouting out the Good morning, Rabbi Sai. <laughs> the idea that we strengthen together the Torah, that should be more Haskis, more learning of Shas and Poskim and the Zer Shemshan, of course, and all the different parts to pray for the Ruchnis as well. And the idea of simcha and sasan to bring that, have the conditions of bris, to be able to guard ourselves, especially in marriage, to be focused in the, as we've learned many times, relationship flow of, of the pleasure of the other person, being able to invest our time in, in bringing joy and happiness and inner contentment in the relationship. And that takes a lot of work. It's not going to be easy. That's why this is why I held off, because I wasn't feeling so comfortable about it. But there's a certain point where you have to really go for your, Shalom bias, and really strengthen it and realize that this is the key, the sod, the foundation to, to how you can function in the world. And Hashem's given you your soulmate for a reason. And that's going to help you, Isaac and Engel, become the best person you can be. And to keep tuning into that. 
concept of Mordechai and Esther, the, the Sadiq and the Sadiqist, the idea of that every Yehudi, as Rabbi brought down beautifully, he doesn't even mention the word Sadiq in the Ashram Megillah. Because it's for all the Yehudim, it's for all the Jews, for all the, all the people. And it was Misyadim, those people converted as well. And you see how important that part of the Megillah is, that there was this mass conversion back to the, the people of truth and the people who bring that light so we can turn around the, the darkness out there, all the Aitzes, all the wrong advice from Haman and Zeresh, all the, the wrong advice from the Canaan Shonen and from all these different things out there that take us away from our focus. And remember, throughout the day, to keep doing Tzedakah, to push it, yeah, nice and nice, someone puts out a hand, you should give to them, but not just Tzedakah, yeah? not just for the Zeresh Shemson or whoever, but the just one Chesed to go to them, but you should also give time and love to the people around you, give a smile. Yeah, and realize that Hashem is answering your fears on this day, on these special days leading up to Purim and after, especially when it's my birthday as well, a special Koch and Brocha, to go to give blessing and give thanks for life, for the blessing of life. So we're going a bit over on our usual 10 minute mark because today is a special Purim edition, a race ship edition. I want to hear back from people. We're going to have Yosef Aaron back in the house. We're going to sing more. We're going to hopefully go more into the ideas of kindness. Um, I think we did touch on kindness today in a real way by reminding everyone that as much as the simplest Purim, but we also have to bring it home, bring it to our, to our Shalom Bias, to be there and realize Adiyoda, getting out of ourselves, means to tune in to those who are around us and what their needs are, not just what we need. And, you know, people want to have this high experience, get rid of that expectation. It's not about that. It's about tuning in to what Hashem wants, lots of Hashem. And that could be just spending time with someone, talking to them on Purim, having a deep conversation a deep conversation with God, a deep conversation with yourself. Seeing the Megillah is revealing the hidden, reveal the hidden parts of yourself, the true parts, the godly part, the Elikus, we've been learning Tanya, all those Tanya classes, Bachsham, the Nefesh Elikus, the realize that you have this inner reality. So, being that we're in a relationship flow, I bless everyone, and being that my wife and myself's birthday comes out this year, Everyone out there, hopefully we're a little bit of Monica and Esther and Masha and Ellie, can be able to shine out that light together. Shem should bless us all with Sean Bias, with our soulmate. Shem bless us with Shefa, with abundance, with Bracha. And, um, you know, we, 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 got the, we got the power, we got the ability, all of us. And the Sudas Purim, which is really the, the highest of high moments of the year, really is, teaches us the most real lesson of life, that everything can be brought to holiness, to Kedusha, as we learned with the Mishkan, we mentioned before the Holy Book here. We see that all these parshas and Korbanas and that we're going to be learning and bringing alive in our home, that we have a Shulchan in our house. The Purim is like, this Purim Sudan is like represented by the Shulchan and the Menorah, the light that we're shining out, turning the darkness to light. But every home is a little Mikdash Ma'at, every little Suda, every part of the Suda has the ability, all the Nikmas Yain, Yosef we have the opportunity, the Nesach Yain, to bring the Korban of the Yain, to bring the Katoiris and the Kiyo and the cleanliness and the purity and the Tahara, all these things that are alive in the Torah and the Mishkan and the, and the Kohen God and all the Hashbaz and the Siddiquim should be with us and the holy righteous people should be with us, should help us in the end of days to turn around to darkness of exile, one should have a healthy mindset, healthy heart, should be clean, all the family should be together with healthiness and happiness, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, so we can have a cleave to bring that abundance into our daily life. And I really dub for everyone, including this whole beautiful community, Shem David, and all the people in Afra, and all the people in Yishalayim, and all the people in Am Yisrael, Shmir Aliyana, heavenly protection. We should not have any more simple Torah stories than we had this past year. It should only be simple Torah stories of, of, of joy. And the true simple Torah of, of that yich, yich, unification between us, Hashem, and the Torah become one. Uh, with the, the true Kavana of the Baal Shem Tov to bring Mashiach Sukkainim, which is unification and the base of English, bring out the light of that Dira Tachtona that's there into our homes, into our hearts, into our everyday life. So we elevate the whole world, the whole world has an experience of elevation. And it's all about that kindness aspect, this is the focus, the real kindness, and the biggest kindness we can do is to pray for each other and to, to invest in each other in time, give that time to each other. Uh, and with that together, I believe we'll be blessed with a beautiful poem, a happy poem, poem Sameach. And uh, once again, looking forward to have Yosef Aaron back in the studio with us together in this beautiful home. And uh, we'll be going live soon. Stay tuned.
and much love. Keep sharing. Really appreciate it. Your time and all the lessons and feedback. Zaykizid. <laughs>